since we are working on the card screen and we've already done working on the empty card screen it's time to move on and start building the full card screen so the full card screen is constituted of some text views and some buttons and an up bar and say switch it in here so let's get started so just as we created a new file for the empty card screen I will create a new file for the full card screen name it card full but in here it will be a stateful widget but first of all we need to import the material dart package let's initialize the stateful widget and name it as card full and for sure for now we will return a container because this whole widget is a container and as you can see it has some rounded corner from top right and bottom right so let's start building it to take a box decoration and give it a border radius of border radius dot only we will use bottom right in here of radius dot circular I'll give it a radius of 16 and I will do the same for the top right I'll just copy this and paste it in here but this will not rebuild once the whole widget is rebuilding so we can just add a const before uh, before it just like that so this will not rebuild anymore I'll give it a height of 130 for sure you can change it as much as you want and I'll give it a margin of 10 and this margin will not change so edge and sets dot all and I'll give it as I said 10 let's add a color in here sorry in here and I will give it a color of theme dot of context dot uh, background color you can change this color as we said before from this class okay so this whole widget is done now now we need to make this widget in here the image widget so let's get started this container will take a child row it will take some children's I chose row because as you can see there is an image in here and some other widgets beside of it so it will take a container for the image widget it will take a width I'll give it 130 for sure you can change it as much as you want now let's work on some decoration box decoration it will take an image because it's the image widget and it will take a decoration image this one it will take another image and in here let's do it a network image because later we will fetch the images from the internet so in here I'll say network image I'll copy this link paste it in here and let's add fit I will choose uh, box fit dot contain for now so now let's save our application and see what will happen so nothing happened it's because I didn't return this class instead of this class in here or this widget let's import it save your file and that's it as you can see the image appear in here but it doesn't look so great so I will change this to fill 
let's save it now it looks better now let's start working on building these widgets so first of all we are going to need a column I'll initialize a column it will take some children's because there is a monitor and another widget in here under it there is other widgets so we need a column and as a children I will initialize a row for the title in here and the button in here that will take some children's first one will be a text I'll type in here the title and let's do some styling for it and give it text style style of font weight I'll give it 600 for sure you can change it as much as uh, you want and I will give it a font size of 15 let's save our widget back to the simulator as you can see the title appeared in here I will show you something let's add a long text let's save it again as you can see it's overflowing so we can fix this by wrapping this container by a uh, which is called flexible let's save it again as you can see it doesn't appear so much but there is a little bit overflow in here so to fix this we need to wrap also this text view by the same widget let me save it again so the overflow disappear and the text continue in here so let's add max lines of 2 and let's add overflow for the text of text overflow dot you can choose any one as you want so I'll choose this one I'll save it I'll change this to one and save it as you can see there's th three dots in here let me delete this so now let's start working on the button for that I will initialize an icon button it will take an icon I'll give it for now icon of icons dot delete we need to add on pressed for it so that line disappear let me save it as you can see this splash color doesn't appear so much so that will not work correctly so I'll just delete it and use inequal instead of it it's going to take a child as container and this container will take a child of an icon so icon icons dot delete let's save this now nothing will appear so we need to change some few things we need to add on top in here and you can add a splash color for it but there's a default color so no need to initialize it and we need to wrap this widget by material let's give it a transparent color so color colors dot transparent this one let me save it press on it so as you can see the splash color appeared but it's not rounded so to fix that we can just add a radius in here border radius border radius dot circular and I will choose let's try 16 for now and let's give this container a height and width of 50 50 and width of 50 also let's save it 16 is so much small so let's choose 32 let's try now it looks great for now we need to add a main axis alignment so each one of these widget appear on different sides so let's add main axis alignment main axis alignment dot space between 
this one and let's give a color for this icon and I'll give it a color of red and instead of this icon in here I prefer to use the and typo icon dot cross just like this you can also change the size of it I'll give it to 22 note that the default size of the icon is 24 let's save it so it looks a little bit smaller than before now we can continue and start building this widget so for that we are going to need a new row inside of this column so I will add a row in here it will take some children's a text for the price and another text for the actual price so 150 let's save it so it appeared in here now let's do some styling for these texts I will add a style in here of text style and you can change the color as much as you want but I will change the size first to 16 or 18 no matter what and give it font weight of uh, font weight dot w600 it looks better now but let's add some padding in here so I'll just add a size box and give it a width of 5 let's save it it looks better now let's add this widget I will just copy this one in here paste it in here change this to subtotal and I will change the only color for this one depending on which theme are we using so I will import our provider class so I will initialize a final theme change equal to provider dot of of context and in here as expected we can now use the provider class and in here let's check if it's dark theme I will give it a color of brown dot shade 900 else I will just use the primary color so theme dot of context dot primary color let's save it let's hit change this to accent color save it so here it is let's try the dark theme for now so everything's working well okay so now let's build this widget in here for that I will initialize an euro in here it will take some children's first one it will be a uh, text ships free it will take a color just like this one so I'll copy and I will paste it after adding some styling in it of text the style give it a color and paste it in here now we are going to make this widget and this widget and this widget for that I will just copy the material widget that we make it in here and paste it in here I will delete the height and width and I will change this to 4 and I will change the color for it so let's save it and see what will happen 
So as you can see, it appeared in here and it looks great. Let's change this icon here to minus. Save it. Here it is. So now let's make this widget. For that, I will make a card widget in here. Let's give it some elevation of 12 and it will take a child and it will take a container as a child so child container I'll give this container a width of media carry dot of context dot size dot width times 0 0.12 and let's add some padding const edge ansets dot all I'll give it value of 8 and let's add some decoration for it so decoration box decoration as usual let's give it now a gradient and I will give it a linear gradient and give it an array of colors for that I will use the class that we've created, the color const class and I will choose this one for the start and let me copy it and use the end one for the end. Now let's add where to stop. So stops I will use from 0 to 0 0.7 now let's give this container a child so in here let's add a child a text that it will take the quantity so I will just type Q in here or any number let me save it let's see what happened so here it is, but we need to center this text in the center of this container or this card. So let's add some text alignment, text align, and put it to center, just like this. Now to add the plus button, I will just copy this widget and paste it in here, change this icon to plus and the red color to green save it so here it is now as you can see the pressing area is small so let's change that by adding a padding for this icon so I'll just drop it by some padding let's save it try it now it's big now so I will choose only 5 let's do the same for this icon in here and we need to put some spacing between this widget and those widgets so I will just add a spacer in here that will take all available spaces so now let's add some padding for this title and the other texts for that I will just search for the column and drop the switch it by uh, some padding I will choose maybe for two so as you can see it has some overflow so to fix that we can just change this high to 135 so now it looks better Later on in this course, we will be changing the screen depending if the user adds some product to the screen or not. So for that, I will initialize a list in here called products, for example. And I will check this product list if it's empty. I will return the cards empty widget else I will return the card full 
widget. Just like that. If we save it, the old screen will appear now. If we change this, the other screen will appear. So once the user adds an, any product to his cart, this screen will appear. And if he didn't add anything, this one will appear. In the next video, we will build the upper and we will build this widget in here.